Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Christmas Eve, how has this happened? Anyway, I have just finished my last ever shift working for M&S and I could not feel happier. I've literally worked for M&S for almost a year and a half, so quite a long time and if you work in retail then I have no words for this time of year. I've hit such a brick wall in terms of recovery and I'm really annoyed with myself for letting it happen. I found it really easy to slip back into old habits and old ways of thinking. I know that I need to really push now. You literally don't have to feel guilty and you can enjoy things because there's nothing more than I want in my heart. This was Christmas Eve. We literally just put pyjamas on and we had these little pizzas and we just kind of chilled to be fair. Good morning everyone. I'm speaking really quiet because it's so early. I keep waking up so early. But here I am in my Christmas PJs. I'm gonna have to get something to eat because I've also woken up so hungry. I'm gonna make some cereal and yeah, it's Christmas day. So happy Christmas everyone. though now because the food that I'm gonna be eating is not what I would usually eat. it's out of my routine so yeah but anyway we're gonna make a Turkish breakfast style breakfast for breakfast <laughs> so yeah there's gonna be a lot of pastry a lot of bread but I just want to enjoy eating it and show that it can be done and you do deserve to eat the things that you really want let's go and get breakfast so we've got some almond croissants Pano chocolate, bread, a little selection of cheese, parsley, feta, cucumber, tomato, and in Turkish they're like burek rolls, but it's not the real deal, but it's as good as we're gonna get. And then we've got some chorizo, a little mixture of mushrooms, pepper, onion, tomato, and eggs of course. It's kind of like shakshuka, but it's, well, kind of like many men, but not many men. We've got these little bowls that we got from Turkey as well. I also really struggle with at the minute is getting ready to go somewhere so like getting an outfit on doing my makeup I just I just always feel so not myself whenever I get ready and yeah it's really hard but I'm gonna try and enjoy myself and just relax I just think there's so much pressure though ready to go now gonna go to one of my brother's houses now so let's go, let's go and challenge food and enjoy the day. First of all, I apologise, I have been gone for a little longer than what I wanted to be gone for. It's been Christmas and I've just been trying to enjoy my time with the family. I am going away for New Year, I am going to Portugal tomorrow. I thought this would be a really good opportunity for me to actually enjoy my holiday and show you what I get up to and show you what I'm eating and really I need to push myself on this holiday now. We're entering a new year and I just really want to make myself better because nobody deserves to be suffering from an eating disorder and living under the rules of an eating disorder. No matter how big or small them rules are, thank you all so much as well for watching and if you have subscribed, honestly, it really does mean a lot to me, so thank you. I am just getting a few things packed up now and ready to go. That is my makeup and then we've got a case between three of us, but then we did have to add on a little cabin bag as well because we got a bit stressed out, but anyway, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have to get up at half one in the morning because the flight is a really early one. Good morning everyone. It is so early. I'm actually excited. It's time to go now. It's not even three o'clock yet. <laughs> I've just spotted a little rabbit. <laughs> Are you sure it's real? It's just me. 
Yeah. Just at the airport now. It's literally so stressful though. Everywhere's just so busy these days and you can't sit down and actually chill anywhere. And we're flying from a rubbish terminal at the airport so there's like no shops. <laughs> we're gonna be boarding soon. We're in the car. Are you excited to drive, Dad? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> He's actually terrified. Keep the green paper in the car all the time, yeah, is that right? Shit, yeah, <laughs> Let's go. Look. Let's get the show it's on the, the road. Green paper in the <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh. Thanks. Stay in the second lane from the left. What's that one then? One. Don't know. I think we found the apartment, but we aren't too sure. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Whose phone's going off? Don't know. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> oh, there's my bed. This is the apartment. That's my little bed. Here's the clan, little kitchen. And then it's actually freezing. There's no heating. I've got no bed covers for my bed either. This is the upstairs. And that's a little shower. Wrapped up warm. There's a little balcony, which is actually really nice because we're literally in the center of the old town. It's like so pretty. I'd love to have like a little apartment like this one day. Gonna have like a chilled night tonight because we're exhausted from flying and being awake since half one this morning. Come out to a little restaurant, it's really cute. I'll show you behind. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what the name is though. I think it says up here. But yeah, I think I'm gonna order um, cod ratatouille with potatoes, so. I never used to be a fish eater, so this is interesting, isn't it? Here we go, this is the card. I'm a little bit terrified, but anyway, let's dig in. I'm not gonna show me eating it because I'm too hungry, so <laughs> I'm just gonna eat and enjoy. Look at that. That was actually spot on as well. Hate to admit, but really enjoyed. <laughs> Literally got some kind of chocolate with ice cream. And what did you get? <laughs> I'm feeling really, really guilty now after that. But I need to remind myself that it's all about living and getting involved in things. Today is a new day. Bom dia, Portugal. It's actually really sunny today, so it should be a good day. We're having some brunch, but we waited so long, so I'm just gonna dig in and eat really fast. We finally had breakfast, and it's, what time is it? Quarter to one. <laughs> How long did we wait? About 50 minutes. 50 minutes. About 50 minutes. For some avocado on toast. We're going to Villa Mora now. At the stop sign, turn left onto Rua de Santa Eulalia. This is an area called Villa Mora and it's got an absolutely stunning marina. So we just came here and chilled for a little bit. We literally had to kit ourselves out and buy a fan heater because it was that cold. <laughs> and got some slippers not gonna be cold now fingers crossed we're just gonna get ready now and go out for some food and see where the night takes us we're actually gonna go to is it where peri peri chicken originated from so peri peri chicken originated in this little town called gear and when was it 1963. 1963, and that's where we're gonna go to eat. We've arrived. It looks really cute, and there it is. So we've got fries. 
We got some salad and a load of peri peri chicken. We've ordered a randomest selection of desserts. So this is a chocolate mousse. It's nice. What's this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vienna. <laughs> then this one. Yeah. Tip pie. You've messed the banana. Bom dia, Portugal. We've literally woke up this morning, started prepping some breakfast in the apartment, went out to get a coffee, come back, and got no electric. <laughs> Just sat here. <laughs> <laughs> in the dark, I haven't had a shower yet. Doing well, but positive mental attitude, guys. It's okay. We've come down to the beach in Albufera. This is like the New Year's Eve. The weather's really nice. It's actually quite warm. On the beach now just getting ready to go out tonight for new year's eve i'm so worried though because i literally go bed at eight o'clock now i've got to stay awake until midnight it'll be interesting can't actually believe that it's going to be new year to be fair like what a year it's actually been i'm just hoping that next year we're going to get stronger we're going to get healthier we're going to get better i'm actually feeling a bit like I don't know. I think New Year's Eve is always a bit of a weird one anyway, but I hope that you all have an amazing New Year. It's 2024. I didn't really record that much last night, but we went to see the fireworks in Albufera. I did get a few videos of that though. Today we're going to go to the beach and... <laughs> oh. We're going to go to the beach and have a little picnic and just sit in the sun and enjoy the nice weather before we come back home. Are you looking forward to going to the beach? Yes. <laughs> I can't go. just living somewhere with this on your doorstep though it's so beautiful there's a little cave at this beach and then I think like over the years the water had washed away the rocks and then it's made this little cave it looks so nice though <laughs> yeah it's so nice Right. Won't fall on you. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Having a little picnic on the beach, aren't we? Got a nice little tuna baguette and then I might push the boat out and have some of these. <laughs> no, I should do really because it's all about challenging these foods and enjoying again. I'm really proud of myself for actually eating a lot of bread 
on this holiday. I'm having a gin and tonic and I need to remind myself that that's okay and you can have a drink and not feel guilty and you can join in and you can have fun and not feel guilty. I've also ordered, what have we ordered? Catapana, which is like a traditional Portuguese dish and it comes with chicken and chorizo, rice, bacon and loads of veggies I think. So this is the catapana, it comes with the chicken, the potato, the rice and then it comes in this like dish here. <laughs> and it's very traditional this one, so let's enjoy. I just wanted to come on and just talk a little bit about some of the things that I've really been struggling with and some of them things have been being away from my like comfort foods and safe foods and the really big thing that I've been struggling with is the structure so at home I know that I'm gonna eat at this time and that time and this time and that has been massively influenced by being impatient and there being such a schedule and such a routine and I think sometimes that can be negative in a way because you become so used to that routine that when you are thrown out of your comfort zone it's quite hard to adapt. I'm really glad that I'm here and I've like really had to challenge myself to break out of being in that comfort zone not being able to do my usual exercise and movement that I've been doing. I think coming on holiday has made me realise that I shouldn't be doing because I know that my body is still really exhausted and fatigued. Something else as well that I just want to say is that if you are in recovery and you're still doing things to improve yourself and you are challenging yourself with things then don't be harsh on yourself because I've been being harsh on myself for struggling when actually I might be struggling but that's also a win so you have to look at it that way instead you go and enjoy your holidays and food because you really deserve it and life is way too short it's a new day where are we going for breakfast today we're going back to the place that we said we wouldn't go back to again aren't we Another day, another beach day. Trying one of these Portuguese tarts, it's like a traditional pastry and it's called pastel de nata I think. I made a promise to myself that I had to try one before I leave and we're going home tomorrow so my brain is saying no but my heart is saying yes so we're gonna eat it and enjoy it hopefully. Never tried it so I don't know, might hate it. <laughs> Why are you doing that like a naughty boy? Mm, yeah I don't know. No. Oh, it's not focusing, but it's got custard inside. Well, it's not the best one, though, is it? It's not this. No. It's, it's not, not that much flavour. I'm going to finish it anyway. No. We're back from the little beach day and just got ready for the last night. We're going to go and have some pizza tonight. And I said to myself that I wanted to challenge it. I'm going to get involved and enjoy the pizza and yeah, let's go and eat. How nice is the view behind me as well, gonna miss that. So we've got a little arrabbiata pizza with pepperoni and then we've got this one which I can't remember what it's called <laughs> and then Capri's, Capri's salad too. I am full after that pizza. But now we're just having a walk around the old town, but it's really quiet now. Pretty much everywhere's closed up. The beach is <laughs> down this way, and then this is like the old town area. This is a pretty little street, isn't it? Some nice lights in this street. Just like that, I am now back home. I'm wishing you all the best this year. I just hope that you have an amazing 2024. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you haven't already subscribed, then 
feel free to give me a cheeky subscribe and yeah i'm gonna be doing lots of challenges now because i don't want to stay stuck i don't want to stay where i am now because I'm not getting any better but I'm not getting any worse and that's the worst place to find yourself. We have to keep pushing forward and I'm going to be doing lots of new challenges now in the new year. Keep watching and yeah, see you soon. Bye!